How's it going, everybody? My name is SystemZ, and in the spirit of hitting 50,000 subscribers on my channel, I'm going to show you 50 ways to use spruce trap doors in Minecraft. If you enjoy the video, consider subscribing for more building related content, as well as live streams every weekday at 5 p.m. Central Time. And without further ado, let's get started. 50 ways to use spruce trap doors in Minecraft. That sounds like a crazy idea. But I promise we've got some really good designs here, and it's kind of a mixture of furniture and more mechanical designs. So let's go ahead and begin with design number one. We've got a basic tabletop with a trap door on top instead of a pressure plate like we've done before. We've got an ordinary chair with some trap doors for the arms instead of signs. Now in the next update, we will see spruce signs, so I'll probably be doing that a little bit more. But for now, this will definitely work. And then next up, we do have an ordinary table that might go in a hallway with slabs on top, or you could actually use the trapdoors for the tabletops themselves. Now, what I love about this update is we've got so many different ways to use trapdoors to create furniture, so it's very, very awesome for interior design. I love it so much. Now, for another table, we do have another table here with the uh, larger kind of scheme. Now, the great thing is, is you can take the direction and create really any wood grain pattern that you'd like. Now, I just did something basic here, but you'll see other examples later of what I'm talking about. You can also do different sizes, of course, and I've got basic fence posts there for the legs. I think this is the closest to a table that we have ever been able to do in Minecraft, so I love that so much. You can also do different variations of chairs and, you know, use, like you know, uh, banners and carpets to create different cushions. Now, before we'd had to do a spruce door on the back, so now we can actually do trap doors there, which is very good. Looks a little bit more consistent. You can also do things like water buckets. This is another good design. And before, we weren't really able to do the bottom of a bucket properly. Whereas now, we're able to actually waterlog the trap door to make it look a little bit more complete, which is very good. You can also do potted plants like we've got here, and pots of gold, or really barrels of anything. With the new item frame mechanic, you can actually, you know, create this look of a barrel containing, you know, apples or potatoes or carrots or gold, for example, and that looks very good, especially in more medieval settings or anywhere where there might be like a marketplace. That looks fantastic. And for the final piece of this particular row, we actually have have a bed frame using the trapdoors to create a headboard. On to row number two, we've got a potted plant design. Another one, in fact, and this one is actually really good for hidden lighting because you can easily put glowstone either down there on the bottom block or the one concealed by the trapdoors, and this is great for pathways or interior in houses. And one of my favorite mechanical designs lately is this working trash can or a recycling bin if you want to do a different color. Now this, like I said, actually works. You can throw items on it and a hopper minecart will pick it up and basically throw it into lava, which is just amazing. It doesn't, I mean, look that amazing or anything, but it actually works and that's what's incredible. So this is fantastic for survival. Now you can also use the trap doors to conceal pre-existing colors, like on this bookshelf instead of using oak. We can actually use trap doors to make it a little bit more consistent with the rest of our furniture, like this hallway bookshelf. Now this is another good example of how versatile trap doors can be. You can do any shape you would like to create really anything you'd like, you just gotta use your imagination. So for this I've got a slab for the shelf, you can also do trap doors for the shelves themselves, as well as trap doors for an actual backing. Now this is very simple as well, but definitely effective. Now one thing that is cool, but I won't particularly use it, is this lampshade design. Now, I've got a candlestick style lamp here with the end rods, and it looks good, it's just a little too bulky, honestly. It really doesn't fit with proportions as far as how the table goes. So I probably won't be using this much, but I'm at least glad that it's there. And following that, we've got an actual wardrobe design, which is very, very good. Another example of how versatile they are. We can actually put chest in here to make it work and store different items. You could even do, you know, an armor stand on that side to put armor on which is very very good you can also create a pool table now if you do the trap doors on the you know upside of a block you can actually put items on top of it which is very very good in my opinion you can also use uh, signs on the side of that to create kind of a, a cross beam which is very good for getting like the smaller details in there and for the final piece of this row, we do have a wheelbarrow design. Again, using the different faces, you can create different shapes. So this is good because it also allows you to put a gate against it, which looks pretty handy and definitely makes a great wheelbarrow. And for row number three, we've got another table design. I promise there aren't too many left in the video, but we've got to do them. This one uses the trapdoors on the top half of the block 
to allow you to place things like plates with item frames and cups with flower pots, as well as candles with the nice end rod there to create a very nice dining room table. Now you can also use the directions to create a nice wood grain pattern, which is very, very good to customize your table and make it fit a little bit more nicely in your home. You can also use the different shapes and patterns to create various different chairs, just like we've done in the front. This time we actually have a cushion with a carpet. You can also do a bench design here to match it up. Now these three items work really, really well together together, especially in medieval settings, so I definitely recommend giving those a shot. Now, another potted plant here is actually the one wheat farm. <laughs> very simple and very inefficient if you're doing it in survival. But you can waterlog one of the sources here, just like we've done here, to create a very nice little, you know, interior piece. That's just very simple. It's very rustic looking as well. And again, not efficient, but at least it looks all right. Now, this one is one of my personal favorite designs in this video. Using trap doors, you can actually place paintings as if they're floating. So with the direction I have these trap doors, we've actually got a painting directly against them. And using an armor stand, you can create a very, very nice canvas. So a painting easel, for example, to just, it's just such a nice interior piece. I, I'm surprised I haven't thought of this before, but I definitely recommend giving this a shot. You can also do a painter station with some dye to make it look like some paint that's being used. Maybe, you know, painting with a light blue for the sky there, as well as a cup to hold your paint brushes. Now you can also do a bunk bed design because beds can be placed on top of trap doors, which is good to kind of create a more compact design instead of using slabs to separate it because that can get a little bit more bulky. Now, for more building purposes, you can actually use them for walls or dividers in a household or even mix them in in your floor texture. The possibilities are endless. And going into row number four here, we've actually got a bar stool, which looks very, very good. Now, what I love about a trap door on top of a piston is that you can actually get a sign and place it against it, which creates this floating effect that looks very good for a bar stool. And you can see the dog's nose poking through there, but we've got a dog house here, which can also double as a shed to store dry materials out in a forest, which looks pretty good in my opinion, but it's a little bit out there. You can use the trap doors to really make any shape that you like, which is really the example here, but I think it looks good nonetheless. Now this is another favorite of mine. This is such an adorable design. In the middle of a pond, why not build a sailboat? And what's fantastic about it is you can actually customize it with your own things. You can actually put a dog in there, for example. So we've got our little wolf pal in there. We've got a stair to act as a chair while we're sitting there, you know, maybe fishing. Of course, got a little flower pot for decoration and a chest for all of our items. Maybe that's a cooler. But like I said, this would look absolutely amazing in a pond. Now, kind of following the theme of an ocean and fishing, we've actually got a fishing dock here. Now, with trap doors, you can create this really riggedy kind of broken dock system that just looks so good in my opinion, especially in a medieval setting. And you can even take the fence post here and waterlog them to make it look a little bit more detailed than before and less bulky with having, you know, full blocks so we can actually have fence posts, which I think looks very good. Now, a little bit more building uses, you can take the trap doors and do potted plants like this outside of a window or a window cap to kind of cover the win you know, window from rain or anything like that. You can even use it for shutters or to divide different colors in your building scheme. Or for two mechanical uses, you can use it as a trap door, which is how it was meant to be used. So yeah, I definitely had to include that. <laughs> but one of my more favorite designs, you can actually do this here, which is a pet dis pest dispenser for mine carts, which looks pretty good in my opinion. And once you're done with it, you could loop it back into the system, which is probably a pretty easy task to do. Now with trap doors, you can also conceal the redstone very nicely, and that looks awesome. And last but not least, this is row number five, the final row. Now this is actually gonna be a more complicated series of designs, but definitely, definitely worth it. These are so good. Now this one I got from Exumavoid. This is a pipe design, and as you can see, I've got it going into this wall. What's great about it is it's actually functional. You can use items and have them flowing through via item elevators with the uh, soul sand and water to create an actual pipe system. Kind of like something you might see from a Buildcraft mod. I love this so much and I've actually used it in my survival let's play, so I really recommend you check it out. Now for the next one, we've got a catapult design, which I've only included to showcase the slope design that you can actually get from using trap doors. So you can do different angles using almost a quarter of a block instead of a half of a block to really just get these nice little angles here. Plus it looks really good. I think this would fit very nicely outside of a castle. 
And moving on, something I don't really like that much because it's very bulky, but I definitely wanted to include it. You can do cabinets that actually work. So you can put a chest in there to store your different, you know, kitchen related items. So that could be good, but I'm used to doing other things. So I probably won't do this too much. And following that, we've got a slightly more difficult design that kind of contains a lot of smaller designs. So this is a huge one, in my opinion, that I love so much. Starting off, you can use trapdoors for the roots of a tree. That gives you a very nice organic feel, and kind of with the angles with the catapult there, you can get some really nice angles there with the roots that just really bring it all together. Now you can also do a tree house with the trapdoors as well, and what's great about them is using the signs from the bar stool, you can kind of do that nice railing design that I was talking about. You can also store items up here with a crafting table and chest. You can build a bridge with the trapdoors. Now you don't have to do it like this, you could do it over a pond or a ravine, anything really with a small distance, but anything greater than that, you would probably need to use a more stone bridge, but this is definitely great for small spaces. You can also use them to create a playground, sort of a jungle gym, which is good as well. Uh, branches in a tree, which I think is fantastic because it brings out the color a little bit more. Instead of the tree actually just being engulfed with leaves, it brings it out in a little bit more balanced way. And I love that so much. Now this one is one of my favorite. You can use it to make a bird's nest. Just grab some turtle eggs and pop them on top. Now the great thing is, is turtles won't hatch there unless there's sand underneath them. So luckily no turtles will come falling from your tree. <laughs> now this last one is very anticlimactic. Nothing special here. We've just got basic railing using the trapdoors here. So that actually kind of guards us from falling over, except for the fact that we can literally just walk right over because of the slabs, but you can do it in walkways and all that kind of stuff. And last, but certainly not least, you can walk the plank. <laughs> Now this really only scratches the surface. There are so many different things you can do with trapdoors. When I started this video, I thought 50 designs would be impossible, but while doing this, I see that just hop into a creative world and you will surely come up with something. There are so many possibilities with trapdoors. Guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. I gotta give a special thanks to my sponsor community for helping me out with the designs in this video. There are a little bit too many names to thank personally, but thank you to everybody. The Squid Squad is amazing. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more building related content as well as live streams every weekday at 5 p.m. Central Time. And without further ado, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.